Hi, hi, it's Joey Reynolds with another Reynolds Wrap, and I'm being called to duty again. This is my fifth tour in the radio war. We have to reclaim what was reclaimed. We got to reclaim the reclaim. <laughs> we were taken over. It was a hostile takeover. Uh, well, I'll tell you what happened. You know, radio used to be on the big box in the living room, and everybody listened to the radio, and then television came along and gave it a good beating. So radio started to play music, and it was standard music. Everybody loved it for a while, and the Top 40 came along and killed that. After that happened with the AM uh, audience being younger and more hip, you know, and cooler and more selective, uh, then that thing wore out and went to FM, where we had long form and no talk. After that wore down, the talk radio came in. Now it's all talk with uh, Rush and uh, political views. And when that wore out, because that got boring, we moved it over to sports, and the sports incorporated the television, and they're doing multi-platforming, as you know, on ESPN, which was owned by ABC, and also was a radio organization. You know all that. So we have a radio war again now, because the AM and the FM are both in trouble. I'm wearing black because of the death of uh, the platform, and I would like to revive it. So i got to come back in. I'm a Marine or a Navy SEAL, and out of the trenches comes Joey Reynolds to get on the air and bring everything back because of personality. That's what we've erased is the personality. I would like to point out that it took Howard Stern two years for the hostile takeover of America's Got Talent. He turned it into his own show. Uh, at the beginning, he was just Judge Howard Stern, very humble and meek, and then he got in there and he, he not, it's now his show. It's the same freak show that he used to run before he got on the uh, uh, FM. He, he ran this on television. Remember he did the dwarf tosses and the fart man and the, and the lesbians and all that business. So now it's back into a freak and circus show for four hours of prime time on television. That's how desperate NBC is. Four hours. They gave Uncle Milty one hour. Saturday Night Live is only an hour and a half, one night a week. This is prime time, four hours. So you know they're really, uh, they're, they're in there. They're, in, they're into this. And uh, thank God for Simon Cowell who has those other stripes. It always takes someone behind you, you know, even... Uh, I guess uh, you saw the movie with Al Pacino where he says, you know, just when you think you're out, they pull you back in again. Well, that's my situation. So i got to go on all the platforms, on the radio and the television, with all of my little credentials put aside. i got to get you back to listening and watching. And it's real easy. All you got to do is be interesting. Hey, how about that for a, for a word? you got to be fun, and you also have to show the absurdity of this great country. And one of the absurdities is Donald Trump right now. However, look at how popular he got because he's absurd. <laughs> he's got he's a clown. We you know, we love the we love the circus. That's that's proven. So here I am. I'm ready to go to battle and I got my gear. I'm all set with my greatest weapon, which is my mouth and uh, my beautiful face. And I'm all set for radio and television. And, uh, and we're going to do it on all platforms, including the dashboard. So somebody who is very wise uh, in corporate life, because of the corporate caca, is going to get rid of the gatekeepers, put me on the air, and I'm going to win the war for everybody again. So here we go. It's my fifth tour of duty. Joey Reynolds, wrap.